I remember it was right after uh, Bob Iger had engineered the deal with Steve Jobs for Pixar uh, to buy Pixar. And Steve Jobs, being the largest shareholder of Pixar, became the largest shareholder of Disney overnight. And uh, the first Disney board meeting uh, after that occurred, uh, as you might suspect, all the Disney board meetings are held at Disney property. So we're down in Walt Disney World, and I'm, I'm up early, so I'm in the room where you can make your own coffee and get the muffins and stuff yourself. And so I'm in there by myself, just minding my own business, having a cup of coffee, in walks Steve Jobs. I'd never met him. It was his first meeting. I said, well, that's Steve Jobs. I better go over and introduce myself to him. So he's standing around looking at all the food. And I said, Steve, uh, George Bodenheimer with ESPN. He looks at me and says, I hate your phone. I said, well, I hate your phone, too. No, I, I did not say that to him. I said, well, there's some really nice muffins over here, Steve. But uh, that was my introduction to Steve Jobs. By the way, he was right. We were on the wrong model. Uh, our projections bore no resemblance to actual sales. Right. And in keeping with the Bob Iger, pack light and travel fast, I'm most, uh, one of the things I'm proud about is how fast we killed that business. And uh, it was often written about as like the biggest uh, failure under you know, Bodenheimer's you know, decade plus at ESPN or whatever. I mean, it, to me, that was, that was laughable because Yes, that particular top of the first inning effort didn't work. But I remember calling all of the people in that 40-person unit and thanking them for their efforts. I think they think I was, had either gone to happy hour too early or I had dialed the number wrong or something. They just had this sort of colossal flop, and I was thanking them for all the work they had done because they worked their tails off to launch that product. But we retained all of those people, and we retained the thinking but more importantly, <clears throat> going back to the mission, it was like, you mean you can not only get a score, but you could maybe even see a highlight of last night's game on your phone? Are you kidding me? This, you talk about serving sports fans. We have to do this. So who cares that our first model didn't work? And we have, if you look now, you fast forward uh, 20 years later, uh, the ESPN app is number one in the sports business, and quite a bit of that traffic is through these little personal computers that we all carry around in our pockets now. So I, I consider that first inning mistake anything but right. uh, it was a foundation, was a foundation what, what for growth. On. And a great example of learning and moving on from any type of mistakes or what you said. Well, Steve right. Jobs' point was you should not be in the hardware business. Right. We were right. buying those phones, and we were, we were a, a peanut to the big phone makers when we were calling up uh, demanding our timeline and our order and could you change a spec. I mean, we were a joke. We didn't have anywhere near the scale. So we, we're out of the hardware business. That's not what we do.